Hello, this is me doing another YouTube video, yet again, trying to reclaim this wonderful channel from the evil YouTube taking over, YouTube channel taking over Raleigh. And just to make this a little bit more special, I brought my friend over here. Hello! It's Emgriff73. You might not know my channel, it's not that popular. Yeah, I'm, yeah, we our, both of our channels aren't that popular, but as you can see, it's his shining. Is much, his is much more popular than mine. Yeah, I used to have 18 subscribers, but now, but now I'm pretty sure most of them are gone. Maybe it's rised up, but... So, we're going to be explaining the rules of the Pokemon trading card game. Now, I know a few of them, but Logan, or what is... M Griff seventy three. M Griff seventy three. Don't break the fourth wall. Don't break the, whatever is is better with Pokemon cards than me. So I'll say what I can, and he'll work correct me. So let's start with evolution. It's it's a pretty important factor. It's pretty easy. Like like so. Say we be. have this. Rhydon. Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. Rhydon. Well, his name is Rhyhorn. And then he evolves into a Pokemon called Rhydon. Let's see if we could find that. I know exactly where she is. You move on. Okay. Well, guys, while he's getting that. Um. Oh, it's right over there. Um. We should probably talk about energies, right? Yeah, energies. Energies. They are also very important. But now that I am back, we I'm going to take this right horn. So, this is Rhyhorn. Do you see him here? Yes. And and then we all have Rhydon. Rhydon. Yes. The way you would evolve right. And Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Look in the corner and it says Stage one of all is from Rhydon. So, I meant Rhyhorn. And this guy's Rhyhorn. So, what we do is take the Rhyhorn, take the Rhydon, and place it on top of the Rhyhorn. And you can and, do this any way you want, really. Yeah, any way you want. But the most preferred way is to just place it on top, and then you evolved your Pokemon. But be careful when you if, don't try to evolve it too early, because then its retreat cost goes up, and then and then that could be bad, because you could get your good Pokemon in a bad situation. Now let's talk about energies. We're gonna use Charmander this time for the example. Look, look on on the bottom. You see right here, draw in and flare. When it, when it says something under it, you always have to read it before using that move. But when it does say, so when it says a number on the side here, you have to do that amount of damage to your opponent. To your opponent, because say this Charmander was fighting this Rhyhorn, he would do twenty damage to eighty health, remaining him at well, we all know that, and then. But it costs something called energies. And you now here. These are... Um, Show these, them the energies. These right here are three different energies. But there's more types too. Like dark. Dark. Psychic. And then one of the newest. Fairy. Fairy. Metal. Steel. Steel. Whatever you want to call it. And there's a electric, electric and, and then many more. Many more like dark well, we already said dark, but dragon and well So I'll, I'll go find my Pokemon book and I'll label them. Oh. Oh, we're moving. What? We're moving. Oh. Okay. Well, here we don't really need this mascot in the, right now. So back to Charmander. Charmander and Rhyhorn, they would need energies to attack. And Rhyhorn or Charmander has a um, 
fire, so we would take a fire energy and put it under Charmander. And then if you wanted to do flare, and you could take the white is like that, any energy, the, yeah, grass, that's, water, berry. You could take steel, any energy, any energy. For this, we'll just use water. Yes. Because and now we could fire use, are a perfect combination. <laughs> and now we could do 20 damage, taking down. And if you know math, you would be able to know that that would leave Rhyhorn at 60 health. So then you repeat the process. Rhyhorn, but now it's Rhyhorn's turn. And he would, and you see there's two of the white star. You could take two of any kind of energy. And there's a and there's that brown symbol there, which means rock. Different different symbols mean different things. Now here, here's one good thing to know is that this energy can be fighting or, or rock. rock or ground. Three of one. It gets very confusing, so that is yes, a very good does. thing to know. It does. And but in this case, it's usually ground or rock. But, and when you take the grass energy, it's normally bug, poison, or grass, right? Poison would usually be, um... Psychic. The psychic one. Excuse me. Now, he's still learning, kind of. He just collects the cards. He's not yeah, much and, into it. Yeah, Pokemon. and... Well, I will now, and I am pretty sure that I that I counted correctly. I counted like a few times, and there's 18 types. I'm guessing. Well, while Logan's recounting me, let's talk about the um supporter. Yeah, 18. Yeah, let's talk about the trainers. The trainers are pretty cool. They're like basically boosts. So they just Rhyhorn had sixty health left, and well, he needed to draw more cards, or to try to get something like I don't know, potion. Yeah, he could, he could take, he could use this card to draw more cards, and say he ends up drawing a Rayquaza EX in the process. That would be pretty sick. Yeah, that would be pretty lucky. Then you would take the Rhyhorn and its energy back and replace it with the Rayquaza. And then you would look for the energies in your hand or or deck. I meant not deck. <laughs> Bench. We, we'll get to that later. And this is part one only. The, the, we'll explain the format later, but I think we've covered everything about the actual cards themselves, right? Well, there's one more thing. What um, is that? If you haven't noticed, there is legendaries. Legendaries, of course. How could I forget? Legendaries may be strong or weak, but they're still always considered legendaries. And Let's, they never evolve, unless they're, well, actually... Megas. They, yeah. Unless they have a mega form. Unless now, this is Kyriam. He may be weak. He only may have Outrage and Glacialate. But he still is considered a legendary in the game. And see hey. Rayquaza here? He's a legendary too. Now let's take one of let's take my favorite Pokemon. He's a fire type and he's pretty strong. Well, while we're looking for him, here's just an example. This is a fake of him, but that like, I made myself. It's um it's um it's basically the mega evolved form of him. And his name is Reshiram. It's, um... And it's the, the best in, white Pokemon. Go go check out the other video, another one of his videos where he shows you how to create fake Pokemon cards. Yes, it's quite interesting. So, until then, I think we covered it, everything. If, if you're curious in the format, then just go to the next video. Until then, we will see you later. Goodbye.